Hello. This training will show you how to use the eTrailer application to update missing billing information electronically. In order to access eTrailers and resolve your requests for billing information in real time, click the link that appears on your order entry page. This link will only appear when you have billing eTrailers that require your attention. A new tab or browser will launch displaying all requests for billing information that are outstanding on one screen. If you have more than one account number, you'll first need to select an account from the client drop-down list. The eTrailers are sorted by the date of service, but can be resorted by clicking any of these column headers. You may also filter by error category to work them more efficiently. This will display only those e-trailers with the selected category on the screen at one time. The search field can also be used to limit the displayed e-trailers to only those with data matching what you've entered, such as a physician name or a payer. The requested information column containing the error categories is not part of this search. To resolve an individual e-trailer, click anywhere on the row for that record. Once trailers are resolved, they will appear in this list at the bottom of the page. Let's walk through resolving a few different types of e-trailers. When viewing an individual e-trailer, you'll first see the account number, some patient demographics, and some general information about the order, such as the requisition number and date of service, that may help you locate information needed to update that record. The next section, Information Needed, will display exactly what needs to be addressed. These items are links, which when clicked, will move your cursor directly to the corresponding field. While all fields in an e-trailer can be edited, this notation informs us that fields highlighted in purple are required fields for billing purposes, and fields highlighted in red require editing because they're missing information or contain invalid information. To resolve this e-trailer, the ordering physician's national provider ID needs to be entered. I do not have any additional errors on this record, but can also take the opportunity to review the entire e-trailer to verify that all other information is correct and complete. After this ordering physician information section, we have the responsible party information section, which contains data for the payer as well as the patient. This is followed by the diagnosis information section. Here we are presented with the diagnosis codes and tests that are currently associated with this order. We'll review in another e-trailer the ways that you can add diagnosis codes if necessary. The last section allows you to select an additional note to include when submitting an e-trailer. These might be used in cases where, rather than supplying additional information in the above sections, you're indicating that there is no new information available for this record, or maybe if the order should be billed to the patient. When you are finished reviewing the order and making updates, click Submit. You will receive a message indicating that the record has been updated successfully. You can now click Next to advance to the next e-trailer or click Return to Summary where this record is now listed with the orders that have been resolved today. Next we'll take a look at an e-trailer where information needs to be corrected or updated in the Responsible Party section. Some examples of this include missing the insurance name and address, missing a valid Medicare, insurance, or Medicaid ID number, missing the complete patient first and last name or date of birth, or missing the responsible party's address. In each of these scenarios, either fill in the missing information or correct the invalid information. In the case of missing insurance carrier information, click the Insurance Lookup link and select the correct carrier from the drop-down list. After addressing all of the applicable fields, scroll to the bottom of the page and click Submit to resolve the e-trailer. 
Now, let's view how to resolve errors in the Diagnosis section. E-trailers with Diagnosis as the error category might display a message indicating to you that the diagnosis code provided is inconsistent with the patient's age or gender, or in this case, that no diagnosis codes were provided for the date of service. First, if any diagnosis codes are currently associated with the order, they will display here for your review. Then, provide any additional diagnosis information that is in the patient's chart for this date of service. You may add diagnosis information in one of the following ways. Type a valid code in the diagnosis code field. Do not type the diagnosis code with a decimal. For instance, to enter the diagnosis code E08.22, type E0822, then click outside of the field. You can also type a written diagnosis code in the Translate Written Diagnosis field and click Translate. Or type a written code in the Written Diagnosis field and press Tab or click outside of the field. Please remember that providing exact diagnosis codes rather than written codes will always provide the most clarity. If, during your review, you determine that there are no additional diagnosis codes for the date of service, you can select No New Diagnosis Codes from the Additional Notes drop-down list. In all of these scenarios, you will click Submit when all updates to the record have been made, and the eTrailer will be moved to the Resolve eTrailers section. eTrailers with the error category Limited Coverage Tests have at least one test code which has flagged a limited coverage policy for the payer associated with the order. To resolve this, first view the test or tests that have Y indicated in the LCP flag column. Then, type any additional appropriate ICD-10 codes which are present in the patient's chart for this date of service in the text box. Do not type the diagnosis code with a decimal. Then click Validate MLCP. If the diagnosis code satisfies the limited coverage policy, the LCP flag will change from Y to N in the Service Summary section. A message also displays indicating either that all MLCP errors were resolved, or that there are still some MLCP errors if the added diagnosis code does not satisfy the limited coverage policy, or if there are multiple MLCP errors on the order. Once you have determined all applicable codes for the date of service have been added, click Submit on the eTrailer record. Regardless of the error category or action taken on an eTrailer, all submitted information will be processed in the Quest Diagnostics billing system within 24 to 36 hours. We hope that this video has helped you to utilize the eTrailer application and that this process is beneficial to your practice. If you have questions or need additional assistance, please click the Contact Us link found on the Request for Billing Information Details screen when viewing an individual eTrailer. Thank you for viewing this recording.